Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be talking about the lunar eclipse in Cancer. This eclipse will be happening on the 10th or the 11th of the month, depending in the world where you are. If you're new to my channel, I'm Spirit Mama and I share weekly videos on astrology and consciousness and all that cosmic stuff. Now this eclipse is gonna be a big one, so let's get into your astro forecast. Now a lunar eclipse is a full moon, but it's a full moon on steroids. It's a full moon times three. So the intensity around this time is going to be big. And with all full moons, we know that it's an opposition between the sun and the moon. Now at this particular eclipse, we're gonna have the moon in the sign of Cancer. And over with the sun, we're going to have Pluto, Saturn, Jupiter, Mercury. We're gonna have a whole big lineup of planets in the sign of Capricorn all opposing this moon in Cancer. Now, what does this mean? Well, let's look at Cancer. You know, Cancer is ruled by the moon. So whenever we have a moon in the sign of Cancer, we're really gonna feel it. We're gonna feel it so much more strongly. And if you're a Cancer yourself or a water sign, a Pisces, a Scorpio, you're gonna feel it as well because the moon rules water. It rules the tides, it rules the oceans, it rules our emotions. So whenever we have a full moon, our emotions are going to be heightened and you guessed it, at an eclipse, they're going to be even more intense. Cancer rules the home. It rules how we nurture ourselves and others. It's about our inner emotional world. It's about our inner sense of security. So all these themes around this eclipse time are going to come up. And because this moon is opposed by all this Capricorn, Saturn, Pluto, all this heavy, heavy energy, you know, we're going to find that maybe themes around security, but also insecurity are coming up or boundary issues, or we're going to be shown how we nurture ourselves and others, or maybe how we aren't nurturing ourselves and others. There might be issues to do with the family coming up or your roots or your heritage where you feel grounded and secure in this life. All that is going to be highlighted around this time. And especially our emotional sense of stability is really going to be rocked. So with all full moons, they're going to shine a light on one area of our life. You know, they're going to illuminate something. They're going to bring something out. They're going to bring a truth to the surface. They're going to reveal something. It's the culmination point. It's an ending point. And especially being a lunar eclipse, it can mean that things are going to be swiftly eclipsed out of your life. Maybe it's a person being eclipsed out of your life. I have a video all about eclipses that goes further into eclipses and people being eclipsed out of your life and all the workings behind it. So make sure you check that out here. But with eclipses, you know, the energy is so powerful that it will just pick you up and put you right where you're meant to be. So something can happen really, really fast and sudden at this time. And if you do go through a sense of loss, which can be a theme around the full moons, you know, endings, clearings, releasings, letting go. Now, sometimes that doesn't look comfortable for us, but just know that it is for your highest good. So at the exact same time as this eclipse happening, we are also going to have the planet Uranus go direct. Now, this is really potent energy. When a planet has been retrograde and it's stations before it goes direct, it's at its most intense. Its energy is felt really, really intensely. So at this eclipse time, we're going to have this heightened emotional feelings, but then we're also going to have this sudden, unexpected surprise, change, insight, cosmic download. There's going to be something that you can't predict happen around this time that's going to be a little bit shocking at first, but once you can look at it from a higher perspective, you'll see that it's for your highest good. It doesn't necessarily have to be bad. It could be a good thing. But being a full moon eclipse, it is usually about something clearing or something moving away. Now, again, what is making this eclipse super, super potent is the fact that the day after, around the 12th, we're going to have Saturn meet up with Pluto. Now, the last time Saturn and Pluto came together, they conjuncted, was in about 82, 83. Now, that was a really long time ago. That's about 37 years ago, 38 years ago. It, this is a very, very pivotal moment. And this is what all the astrologers have been talking about for so long. This is the major thing about 2020. These two planets coming together. And then they're going to separate as they go retrograde. But then they're going to come back together at the end of the year. 
and they'll be joined by the planet Jupiter. So this Saturn and this Pluto, we've been feeling it all 2019 and we're going to feel it more intently all 2020. But what it's really saying is in one area of our life, we've probably been feeling this intense pressure we've been feeling some restriction in some area it's like we've been in a pressure cooker and as these planets have slowly been moving closer towards each other pluto moves really slowly they both go retrograde once a year so they're only just meeting now but we felt their energy for a long period of time but it's going to intensify around this full moon eclipse so it's almost going to be I don't want to say breaking point, but it is going to be a very big release point. It's going to become very clear to you where in your life you're feeling this pressure. And it's not only pressure, it's also restriction. It could be power issues. It could be control issues. You know, there's some area that you're feeling very restricted and heavy in. And as Pluto has come along, Pluto is about to break it up. Pluto has this transformational energy to it. And so things have to fall apart to be rebuilt. So we might find that there is an area of our life that is asking for transformation. And you'll know what this area is because you'll be feeling the pressure in that area. And don't worry, it's not going to be totally sudden because you would have been feeling it, as I said, all 2019. And we're going to continue to feel it all 2020. So it's not a quick restructuring. It's a gradual restructuring, but it's important to pay attention to it so you can work with the energy. I feel like with the changes that are going on this year, it's so important to have this sense of inner personal security, to have this place within yourself that is your sense of home, you know, that is your center, that is your sense of groundedness that you can return to. It doesn't matter what's going on in your life, what areas are being transformed or what's going on around you. You do have this area that you can come back to within yourself that can almost be your sanctuary. And I feel like this cancer eclipse, you know, is really asking us to create this space within ourselves, you know, to make room within ourselves for this sense of inner security. And don't forget, we're still in the eclipse portal. We're going to be in this energy right up until this new moon in Aquarius in two weeks time. So make sure you pay attention to all the eclipse portal rules. And again, you can find that in my eclipse video. I'll link it below. So I hope you have a beautiful, illuminating Cancer lunar eclipse. I hope that you're able to make some time to be still with yourself, to create this inner sense of security that this moon is asking us to do. And the external pressure that we might be feeling, I hope is not too intense for you. And you're able to work with it and transform it. And I will see you at the next moon. It's going to be a new moon Aquarius. The sun moves into Aquarius. It's going to be a really beautiful time. I'm going to feel a lot lighter. So make sure you hit the bell notification to be the first one to receive my forecast about that when it comes out. See you next time.